Welcome to a brand new season of Construction Week in Focus, covering a wide range of key issues every week across the region's built environment. The third quarter this year will see construction begin on the world's first commercial Hyperloop system in Abu Dhabi. Hyperloop transportation technology, commonly referred to as Hyperloop TT, promises to offer ground transport at airplane speeds, a move that many believe will revolutionize the transport industry globally. However, Hyperloop TT isn't the only player in this nascent travel technology market. Hyperloop, which uses electromagnetic propulsion to accelerate trains through a low pressure tube, has quickly gained interest also from Virgin's Sir Richard Branson. Virgin Hyperloop One also has the support of state-owned port operator DP World, with the California-based firm even opening up a presence in Dubai. This is its first office outside of the US, which is now up and running. The Virgin Hyperloop One pods will carry passengers between cities at an affordable cost, which will be on demand and direct to destination journeys. These journeys will be so comfortable that passengers won't even spill a drop of their coffee over an entire trip. That is according to Josh Geigel, Virgin Hyperloop One's Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder. So, when can passengers of Virgin Hyperloop One get a real first-hand experience of what a journey could look and feel like? Well, the end of November 2018 saw the California-based group announce that it had indeed joined forces with the team at United States Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai. The US presence at Expo will see Virgin Hyperloop One premiere its ride experience, one of a number of innovations showcased at the Pavilion, which was announced at an official launch event, as I said, in November last year, at which Construction Week was in attendance. Ryan Kelly, Head of Marketing and Communications at Virgin Hyperloop One, who was also there, said the experience will go further than, and I quote, a virtual or augmented reality ride. Kelly said riders will actually feel G-force that is similar to that of an airplane. Their presence at Expo comes as no surprise, given the World Fair has been used to showcase, for example, the telephone, the television, the Eiffel Tower, and the Seattle Space Needle, to name just some of the world's most important and profound inventions and unveilings. Hyperloop TT did actually unveil its planned passenger capsule named Quintero One in Spain at the beginning of October 2018 too. Constructed almost completely out of Hyperloop TT's specially made dual layer smart composite material Vibranium, the unit measures 32 meters, weighs a whopping 4.5 tons and has 72 sensors as reported by Arabian Business at the time. But with Virgin Hyperloop One set to offer a ride simulation Expo 2020 Dubai when the fair opened its doors in October 2020 and Hyperloop TT is set to start construction on its first Hyperloop system in Q3 this year. The next two years will be full of firsts in this ultra high-speed transport space. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We'll be now publishing new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, including those from our sister titles, you can click the subscribe button just below or visit our YouTube channel, Construction Week, for more great videos. And if there is any topic that you would like the team to discuss in another episode, do please get in touch with myself or anyone else here. Our contact details are down below in the description box. But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.